All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I'm going to give our honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak, Wadash. We say Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachak, Wadash. And we give double honors to our apostle elders, which are the apostle elders, a great millstone, which feeds with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. All right, um, let's jump right into it. You already see what's on the screen now. Uh, let me go ahead and play this. Um, and get right into the scriptures because we come into some real, uh, we're coming to some real um, drastic times. Uh, we're in judgment, train wrecks are happening, different things are taking place on the earth. So uh, the Lord is drawing near. So let's go ahead and play this. For Zia Wade, there is better hope for Zia Wade than there is for Aria. Thus saith the Lord. I, I, let me bring that back. Let me make sure I, I really lay that out. There is more hope for Zia Wade. There is more hope for RuPaul than there is for Aria. There is better hope for Zia Wade than there is for Aria. Thus saith the Lord. I, I, let me bring that back. Let me make sure I, I really lay that out. There is more hope for Zia Wade. There is more hope for RuPaul than there is for Aria. Mm. Deadly serious times, man. Uh, the, the title of this video is Don't Write Checks That Your Ass Can't Cash. Don't write checks that your ass can't cash. Okay? It's a very famous saying, and this has been on my mind since I, I, I seen this video. It's it's you know, I've been my work schedule has been a little bit different. So um, but this has been on my mind since I seen this. Don't write checks that your ass can't cash. OK, what the hell has RuPaul and, and straight sodomites? I don't know why he's leaning towards that sodomite area, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. Um, let's jump right into this and, and, and really this is a fearful thing. I was shook when I seen this. Just hearing it shook me up. Not not even saying it, but just witnessing the video, I was shook. Because dudes are talking real slick, man. Okay? Now the examples that I have, you gotta understand with the situation with Job, we're gonna get it. When Job's friends spoke, they spoke out of line and the most high heard what they were saying and was displeased imagine this saying right here because guys don't know who is on point with the most high who is the most high's friend who is the most high dealing with but the one thing i'm gonna tell you fruits bear witness the do you, you shall tell the the tree by its fruit aria was a man that was given inspiration by a sign that has flourished throughout the whole planet earth the millions and including this guy sitting right here learned the truth from a man from teachers that stem from the same man that he's cursing out and, and talking about that. And we can go to prime examples. So now was King David wicked for what he did in his acts? Correct. But the Most High still has David's throne established forever. And he brought his son through the same line, through that adult, that that lie, adulterous line. The same one. So was the Most High not knowing what he's doing? No, the Most High knows what he's doing. His th ways are not our ways. Okay? But the one thing you have to understand is if you is talking out of, you got to, everybody's words, we got we to gotta cash in. So make sure your words are on point because the Most High heard, hears things, especially when it's dealing with his men. Okay? So let's get, let's let the scriptures deal with it. Because it's getting to a point it's a bit ridiculous, man. But that's a that's a condemnation in itself. For the Lord to put it on your spirit to talk about his men, that's that's a fearful thing because the men's goings of the Lord. So who made Arya go off into the God said comforter? Who made the God said comforter go off? All of this, the most I said he deals, it says Exodus 15. The Lord is a man of war. Controversy. The most I deals with this. That's how. This truth has gotten to a, such a point. It's through controversy. Men out there on the corners yelling, going against the status quo. That's controversy. That's a battle. This is a this is a fight. Just like Paul said, run this race. This is a race. This is a fight. This is we're not beating the air. We're beating for a championship. The, the spiritual 
championship of creation is, is, is on the line right now. This is the book of Job 32 and verse 3. Also against three friends was his wrath kindled. Let's, let's, let's see here. Let's start at one. So these three so these three men ceased to answer Job because he was righteous in his own eyes. Then was kindled the wrath of Elihu, the son of Barashel, the uh, Buz uh, Buzite, and the ki and kindled in uh, uh, Salakia of the kin kindred uh, Salakia of the kindred of Ram against Job was his wrath kindled because he justified himself rather than God. And against this, against his three friends was the wrath kindled because they found no answer and yet and yet had condemned Job. So when you condemn a man, guess what? The most high hears that. And especially you condemning a man that's in the spirit world currently. OK. But understand this when this is just I'm, I'm bringing up Job because this brings out the point of idle words. And the most high hears idle words. So you can't just be mouthing and writing checks that your ass can't cash. So let's keep going. And against these three friends, his wrath was kindled because they found Job no answer and yet had condemned Job. Now, Eliu had waited till Job had spoken because they uh, they were el elder than he. Let's go down here. Let's go down a little bit. Let's read 13. It says, least ye should say we have found out wisdom. God uh, trusteth him down, not men. Now he has not directed his words against me. Neither will I answer him without your speeches. Let's go down. Let's go to the next chapter. Here we go. And it says in a dream or a vision a night when deep sleep falleth upon men and slumbereth upon the bed. Then he opened the ears of men and sealeth their instructions. So everything that we have a daily, the most High puts in us because this is his movie. This is his movie. So each move that we make, especially in this truth, is all planned out. Yahba Shemi Shah has these plans set in stone. So everything that is taking place in men's lives. Even going back to King David, going back to Saul, all these things were set up in a movie, man. See that? So we have to watch what we're, we're, we're talking because we don't know the full spectrum of what Yahweh Shah has plans in this movie, especially with the, a man. Because we've got prime example of men going off and the Most High still had compassion on them. Because what is our righteousness? It's filthy rags. It's filthy rags. So none of us can say that we are all on point and, and we're, not, we're above the grain and we have a, a testimony to say uh, uh, that we're above anything. We're because all of us are not deserving of this truth, man. See, let me go here. Let's get the let's get the King James version. And it says this is Job 42 and verse 7 to 17. It says, and it was so after the, it says that after the Lord had spoken these words unto Job and the Lord said to Eliphaz, um, Eliphaz the Temanite, my wrath is kindled against thee and against thy two friends, for ye have spoken of me the things that is right. Uh, Salakia, for ye have not spoken of me the things that is right of, as my as my servant Job hath. See, 
Therefore, take unto you now seven bullocks and seven rams and go to my servant Job and offer up yourselves a burnt offering. And my servant Job shall pray for you. Now you don't have a man to forgive you. You talking about somebody that now you got to just deal with the consequences because you writing checks that your ass can't cash now. See, we come into the time. We, we This is deadly serious out here. Things are taking place on a on a on a left hand side and the right hand side. Heavy. The Lord is speeding up time. All of the prophecies are coming to pass. Joe, Jake is waking up left and right. This, these are the these are the times that that, that we're these are the uh, the birthing of a child, birthing of a nation right now. We're in the labor pains. It's clear. You can see it. It says in my servant Job shall pray for you for it says for him will I accept lest I deal with you after your folly. And in that end that ye have spoken of me, the things which is right, like my servant Job. So you have to understand that. Guess what? You can't just speak out of context, man, because the Lord will hear that. And then you have to answer for that talk that you've been talking. OK, so let's go ahead and um, let's get this real quick. This is the book of Sirach. Let me jump here now. This is the book of Sirach. 21 and verse 17. This is a, a Salakia. Yeah, 21 and 17. This is uh, Sirach 21 and verse 17. Let's go here. It says they inquired at the mouth of the wise man in the congregation and they shall ponder his words in their heart. So like here, let's go here. Con, this is verse five. A prayer out of the poor man's mouth reaches to the ears of Yahweh and his judgment cometh speedily. Con, verse 26. And it says, let's go down to verse 25. It says, the lips of talkers will be the lips of talkers will be telling such things as pertaineth not unto them. But the words of such as have understanding are weighed in the balance. The heart of the fool, the heart of fools is in their mouth. But the mouth of the wise is in their heart. Thinking you think before you talk. Because if you talk, the fool, just like it reads here, read it again. The heart of the fool is in their mouth, but the mouth of the wise is in their heart. When the ungodly curse of Satan, he curseth his own soul. A whisper defileth his own soul and is hated wheresoever he dwelleth. So the, the talking can get you ju judged, man. That's the point that we're sitting at now. That talking can get you judged. We're in a time of you don't know who that man is to the most high. Look at the sign that he gave to that man and look at the fruit that came out of it. OK, this is wisdom of Solomon one in verse 11. And it reads, therefore, beware of murmuring, which is unprofitable and refrain your tongue from backbiting. For there is no word or secret. So there's no word so secret that shall go not go forth, not that shall go forth, not. And the mouth that belieth slayeth the soul. Seek not death in the air of your life and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands. Stop writing checks that your ass can't cash, man. Point blank, because we have prime examples right here. Let's jump right here, because let's get it from the Lord's mouth himself. This is Matthew 20, uh, 12 and verse 36. This is Matthew 12 and verse 36. And it reads, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by the words thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So, Jake, keep writing checks that your ass can't cash. With that, I'm going to give our honor and praise unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakwadash. Say Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bashim Akakwadas. Until the next time, Lord willing, this is edifying lesson. And to the hopeful elect out there, keep faith, keep fighting. We're almost home. Shalom.